Hello everyone. So today's video, I want to talk a little bit about being a mom with hearing loss. My daughter is 16 months now, so I feel like I've had a bit of time to process um, mamahood, even though every single day is a learning curve and something new is always thrown <laughs> at you. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about the anxiety and the um, sadness and guilt that I have felt and sometimes still do feel um, because I can't always hear my daughter and because I'm just worried about not hearing my daughter in certain situations. Um, and I just want to be really honest with you about my whole experience in case this is something that you went through too or you're struggling with as a new mom. So when my daughter was first born, I slept with, I wore my hearing aids 24 seven for the first probably three months. I only ever took my hearing aids out to shower because I was so worried about just like not hearing her and just needing to hear her. Like I couldn't, I couldn't let, allow myself to like not hear, even though my husband was here and you know, everything was fine. I just, I felt so much anxiety about not hearing her. And so I, I slept with my hearing aids in and I used my travel pillow to sleep more comfortably, but it was a lot and my brain fog and just hearing fatigue and new mom fatigue, you know, you're so sleep deprived. It was a lot. <laughs> and I, you know, looking back now, I wish I had given myself more, um, more grace and just more, um, I don't even know, just, I just, I wish that I allowed myself to process it differently. And when I have my second child, whatever that might be, um, I think I'll do things differently, but as a new mom, it's, it's a lot when in those early months, it's <laughs> your whole life is just changed. And so that was one thing that I struggled with was just feeling sad that I wasn't able to hear all the time. And that's why I always wore my hearing aids. Um, and around the four month mark, we actually started co-sleeping, um, don't come at me in the comments. Close sleeping is safe if you follow, you know, the safe sleep, safe sleep seven, um, and you do it properly. So, my daughter and I actually share a bed in a separate room. Um, we still do to this day. It's, she's sixteen months, and um, I, I honestly wouldn't have it any other way. But this allows me to sleep without my hearing aids, and I feel comfortable because she's beside me. So if I don't hear her, I can feel her movement, um, and that's just something as a mom is really important to me and everybody in our house gets sleep which is also very important because sleep is so so important and co-sleeping has allowed us to do that and has allowed me to sleep with no anxiety because of our closeness and if you want to talk about co-sleeping or if you're curious about co-sleeping I can let you know in more detail of how we do that and what our bed setup looks like um, but for me as a mom with hearing loss that has been a game changer. The co-sleeping has been amazing. Um, and yeah, I really wouldn't change it any other way. My daughter and I have such a strong bond now and it's it's beautiful, but it's it can be a lot. But one thing that still makes me sad, more often than not, I mean, if I think about it is, my husband told me um, there's some nights when her and I have already gone to bed and she'll have been crying and I don't hear her right away. And it just makes me sad because I'm right beside her and it just makes me have this mom guilt. Um, and I just, I worry about not hearing her when she needs me. And that's another big reason of the co-sleeping, even though sometimes when she's right beside me, I don't hear her without my hearing aids. It just, it's a lot. And I'm just sharing this with you and sharing this with other moms, because if you're feeling this way too, you're not alone and it's, Every day there's something new and every day you just, you gotta, you gotta do it. You know, you gotta push through and you gotta, even if you're feeling those things, you gotta, you gotta be a mom. <laughs> so I know this was a bit of a ramble. I'm a little tired today, <laughs> but I just wanted to share all these feelings um, because that's how I, f I feel I'm able to connect with all of you is when I'm really raw and honest and, um, yeah, if there's ever any time that you have any questions about being a mom with hearing loss or you're going to be a new mom or my DMs are always open, my comments are always open and I'm here for you. You know, mom 
it takes a village and uh, I'm happy to be a part of your village. So yeah, that's, that's it for today. <laughs>